Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight filling in for Alex. And in the last hour, we've been airing for the first time an interview between Alex Jones and Tucker Carlson of The Daily Caller. Also, you'll see him as a commentator on many, many mainstream media programs. It was a very good interview. It's now up on YouTube. If you missed any of it, check it out there. Alex offers Tucker Carlson the red pill, gave him a lot of evidence about Building 7 and a lot of things, a lot of testimony from various people. They also talked about the trade-off between liberty and security. Are people willing to accept that trade-off? Of course, we've talked about that many times. If you give up your liberty for the promise of security, not only are you going to not get that security, you never get security when you give up your liberty. You just become a slave. Slaves do not have security. So to whatever degree you're, you're going to take that deal, that's the degree you're going to be a slave. But we've had a lot of people hanging on just before we started airing that interview. We were talking about CPAC and the various speakers who've been presenting there, the Republican Party. What does that tell us about the state of the Republican Party? What does that tell us about possible presidential candidates? What are people saying there? Well, I wanted to get your comments. We've had several people that have been hanging on for quite some time. We've got Janet in Massachusetts, Clinton, Ohio, many others. Let's go to uh, Janet in Massachusetts. You've been hanging for a long time. Janet, what did you want to say about CPAC? Hi, David. Thanks so much. It's really an honor to talk to you. I, I love the nightly news, you and Jakar Jackson and Leanne McAdoo. And Thank that you. was an amazing interview. I don't know how Tucker Carlson can not take that seriously. Exactly. But anyway, the, his caller that you had about an hour ago, Julio, I agree with him on almost everything. I was a Ron Paul supporter, too. And CPAC was, you know, sort of ho-hum. And it seems like, you know, it's business as usual. The rhinos and the neocons are in charge. Uh, Chris Christie took the easy way out by blasting the Democrats, you know, and the crowd cheers. Um, like the Republicans are so great. Uh, <laughs> I think the last thing we need is more division. And I'm hopeful about Ted Cruz's message to abolish the IRS. At least that's getting out. And I, I would like to suggest that you have Michael Tallinger on. Are you familiar with him? Uh, no, I'm not. He started something called the Ubuntu movement, and he's running for president of South Africa. His platform is we should do away with our current economic system, money. I mean, it's not about a new world order currency, but he says money is what's enslaving us, and we need to find common ground and stop alienating, alienating each other. So I'm hopeful. Oh. I think we've got a long way to go to even get there, but at least people are talking about it, and at least Ted Cruz is trying to get rid of the IRS. God bless him. Yes, yeah. yes, that, that's very true. It certainly is about the money. We believe that this is being run by the banks, the banks and the people who are going to profit from this, military-industrial complex, or the insurance companies that are writing Obamacare. It's always fundamentally about the money, and these people who have absolutely no regard for human life, you know, it was very interesting in that interview with Alex Jones and Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson was talking about how his father used to be involved with Voice of America. And he said he was very disturbed when he learned that Voice of America was now going to be allowed to broadcast in the United States. Just like we should all be concerned that the NSA and the CIA have now turned their gaze from foreign enemies abroad to domestic surveillance. But this is nothing new. We were warned about this by James Madison. You know, he said the means of defense against foreign danger have historically, he said this 200 years ago, have historically become the instruments of tyranny at home. Do you understand that? The way that they always turn the means of defense abroad into tyranny at home. That's why they forbade to have a standing army. That's why they wanted a militia that would defend their homes like the Swiss people. That's something we all have to be concerned about and I agree with you. I think for Ted Cruz to come out and say that we need to abolish the IRS is stating the obvious. There's a lot of support for that. It was a very courageous move for him to make as a politician, however, because that is a very powerful, entrenched lobby. But we can all see how corrupt that is. Let's go to Clint in Ohio. Clint, what do you want to... Well, let's wait because we're coming up to a break. So we're going to go to Clint in Ohio. We've got a lot of other callers who have been on the phone. Josh in Missouri, Hector in New Jersey, who have been waiting for quite some time. So we're going to get right back to you right after the break. We're going to talk about CPAC and what the conservatives are saying. Is there any hope for America there? 
We'll stay tuned. We'll talk to other people and see what they think. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Resistance to tyrants is obedience to God. It's Alex Jones. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight here live in studio. And the last hour we had an amazing interview between Alex Jones and Tucker Carlson of The Daily Caller. You can now see that on YouTube if you missed any of it. If you missed all of it, you can still see that on YouTube. We've just put that up there, the Alex Jones channel. And we've also got an article that's uh, just breaking now from Paul Joseph Watson. It's on the Drudge Report. Homeland Security used intercepted emails to quiz a woman about her sex life. Now, the ACLU is now filing a lawsuit on her behalf. She was a senior lecturer at Indiana University, confronted by the Department of Homeland Security officials after the federal agency obtained copies of her emails and began quizzing her about the details of her sex life. And she went to the airport with a friend who's a Greek national and the Customs and Border Protection officers came after her, questioned her. She wasn't, try she wasn't trying to enter or leave. It was never a question about her citizenship. And she wasn't trying to go in or out of the country. They were just, she wasn't accused of any crime. They're just confronting her with questions about her private sex life. This is the surveillance state that we all live under. This is how it can come down on anybody for any reason. You can have a false positive. And they can come down on you, even though you're not committing a crime, they can make you a person of interest. They can get very interested in you. We need to be interested in them. 
Just as I mentioned before the break in that interview between Tucker Carlson and Alex Jones, Tucker mentioned that his father had worked for Voice of America and he was very upset to see the Voice of America, the NSA, the CIA, which were organizations that were set up to look at foreign enemies of the United States being turned domestically to surveil American citizens against the prohibitions against that. There were prohibitions for them to do that. Now, of course, they've lifted that formally for the Voice of America. That in and of itself is troubling. But the fact that the NSA and the CIA don't have a brief to do that is very troubling. We've had whistleblowers like William Binney and many others who have resigned and blown the whistle about that and talked about how concerned they are. We had William Binney on this show talking about how he had spent a lifetime as the chief technical officer globally for the NSA and how he had watched societies like East Germany and Russia, how totalitarian societies operate. And he said, we now have a police state in this country. We need to be very concerned about this. It's not about protecting us from foreign enemies. And as we pointed out 200 years ago, James Madison said, historically, the defense of foreign enemies has always been turned into domestic tyranny at home. The same things that we use to fight foreign enemies come back to haunt us. And now we see that in spades. He saw it going back historically. He knew that was the nature of power. He knew that was the nature of governments. We have now experienced that because we would not learn from history. We are now experiencing it ourselves. But I want to take your calls about CPAC because one of the things we're concerned about is there anybody going to pick up the challenge to the police state, to the surveillance state, to the continuous wars? Is somebody in the Republican Party going to pick up that mantle? Will anybody in the Democrat Party pick up that mantle? Good question. I don't know. We've got uh, CPAC started yesterday, and we've had people holding on the phone to tell us what they think about the speakers there. We've got Clint in Ohio has been hanging on for a long time. Clint, uh, what do you think about what's going on at CPAC? Uh, yes, thank you, uh, Mr. Knight. Uh, well, my my point is is it seems like the more we get involved in other people's issues in freedom, like what's going on in Russia, you know, that's none of our business right now. But anyways, my point is the more we get in view, uh, in, in involved in theirs, the less we're involved in ours. Uh, everybody's been brainwashed that this is the greatest country in the world. Well, they haven't been looking at the current numbers. Right now, we're 37th in health care. We're uh, uh, 12th in economic freedom. And it seems like the more they make us look outward, the more rights they take inward. And I hope that this new Libertarian Party spends the first four years repealing all these laws and executive orders and stuff that uh, has been put in place to oppress us. And then spends the next four years trying to get the economics up because after the first part goes down, the second part will rise. That's like the Free Trade Act. That's what oh, yeah. totally demolished this country. Well, it remains to be you seen. Know. We hope that there's going to be a rising libertarian faction. There certainly is a neocon faction, a faction that is pushing back against that. And we've seen a lot of people from John Bolton to Marco Rubio saying that we still need to be the world's policemen. We need to be engaged. And according to them, that means that we need to get involved in every conflict around the world, including getting involved with Russia and the Ukraine, as Obama is doing. How is that? making us safer. It's not. And, and yet they're complaining that Obama's not doing enough. Obama's doing way too much in that area. You know, when he put out an executive order in the last couple of days blocking anybody who was critical of what's going on in Ukraine, uh, critical of the new government in Ukraine, he blocked those people from coming into the country. One of the things he said is, we don't want people who are going to undermine democracy in the Ukraine. Well, how about people like him? who undermine democracy in America. What do we do about that? What are the Republicans going to do about that? Do they even care or are they just going to play to their same base and the same issues? Now, yesterday we heard something a little bit different. Let's play this clip from uh, Ted Cruz. He said something that you haven't really heard the Republicans say very much. He had a couple of things to say. Let's play that short clip. Now, I do have to start with a bit of bad news this morning. I'm sorry to tell you that by virtue of your being here today, Tomorrow morning, each and every one of you is going to be audited by the IRS. <laughs> How many of y'all have your cell phones? I'm going to ask you to please leave them on. I want to make sure President Obama hears everything I had to say this morning. We need to abolish the IRS. That's right. When the IRS is openly auditing political enemies, remember, that was what Richard Nixon got.